Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last week I posted my 2023 in review. I went through my closing numbers from my 2023 inventories and reflected on the goals that I had set at the start of the year and whether I had achieved them or not basically. So now that that's been done, it is time to look at the opening numbers for my 2024 inventories and to discuss with you the goals that I am setting for myself this year. Today's video is going to be the makeup inventory and then I will do separate videos for skincare, hair care and perfume. However, I just want to put a bit of a disclaimer at the start. I am quite behind this year as I'm sure you can gather given it is the end of February and I am just about sharing my starting inventory numbers with you. Life's just been really busy recently. It is what it is. It's just things going peaks and troughs and right now we're in a peak of busyness. So usually what I do when I do my inventories is I pull everything out and I start from scratch and I just like manually tick it off whilst visually looking at it. I get it all together, pull all out of the different handbags, storage places, bathroom, all of that jazz. But I have just not had the time for that this year. So what I have done is taken the closing of last year's inventory and I've added on everything that I got for Christmas or that I have bought in the first couple of months of the year. So what I'm saying is that essentially there will probably be a couple of things that have come in last year that have just slipped through the cracks. There, there always are, no matter how organised I try to be with it, there always at some point seems to be something that appears usually in my empties when I'm trying to take it off my inventory and then I realise it's never been on to start with. So there will probably be things that will crop up this year that'll be like, oh, I have to add this on because I've not caught it by doing that fresh recount at the start of the year. So this is more like a rolling inventory going from last year's closing numbers, adding on things that I got for Christmas or that I know that I bought in the first couple of months of the year. Um, so that stuff's all accounted for basically. The majority, 99% of it will be accounted for and will be on the inventory. I've just not got the time at the moment to do the usual of pulling everything out, recounting it and putting it all away. I just want to put that little disclaimer and that is applicable to all of the inventory numbers for this year. But today we're going to get into my makeup inventory. I think that's the one most people are most interested in anyway. So let's get into seeing what the numbers are and what my goals are for 2024. What I'm going to do is just go through all of the numbers first and then do the goals at the end. So go through it by category. Starting off with face primers, I have 14. They are worth $353.48. I have 18 foundations worth $515.84. I have one colour corrector worth $12. I have five concealers worth $137. I have two setting sprays worth $57. For face powder, I have 10 worth $366.50. Moving on to cheap products, I have three contour products worth $83.50. I have five bronzers worth $68.16. I have 55 blushes worth $1,159.44. And I have 21 highlighters worth $641.80. On to eye products, for primers, I have five eyeshadow primers worth $133. I have 8 eye crayons worth $273. For single eyeshadows, I am starting off, there's a lot of scrolling to get to the bottom of this one, 6 to 8 worth $1,136.69. For small eyeshadow palettes, so that is anything from 2 to 5 shades within the palette, I have 13 of those size of palettes worth $672.90. And then for large eyeshadow palettes, which are palettes with six or more shades in them, I have 42 and they are worth $1,873.73. For eyeliners, I have 50 exactly worth $919.27. And for mascara, I have 12 worth $205.93. For brow products, I've just put all my brow products, so like pencils, pomades, gels, everything is just in one category. So my brow product category, I have 15 items in it worth $308.67. And that takes us on to lip products. So for lip balms and primers, I have 12 worth $244.63. For lip liner, I have 65 worth $1,082.58. For lipstick, which is my favourite category, I have 108 worth $3,099.55.
for liquid lipsticks I have 21 worth $313.88. For lip gloss I have 18 worth $418.22. And then for other, which is kind of a random catch-all category, so I've got like my freckle pens, some face glitters, a couple of face palettes, things that don't really fit anywhere else are in my other category. And there are eight items in that category worth $298.47. In addition to that, I have one sample sachet to use, which I'm counting as being worth $1. So my total makeup inventory for 2024 opens it being worth $14,376.24 and the total amount of items in it is 580. So in terms of my goals for makeup, mainly I want to continue with what I did last year which was once I had used a piece of makeup it went into this box and then I decluttered from this box every so often so that I was decluttering from things that I had recently used, that I had recent memories of using, that I remembered how they performed etc rather than decluttering from my collection based on swatches and things. So I want to continue to do that. So I want to do at least one makeup declutter every quarter if not more based on the products that I have used recently. Now I don't really want to set goals for decluttering because I want to declutter things that I have genuine reasons for wanting to declutter rather than decluttering to try and hit some kind of goal. To me that feels a little bit disingenuous. So I'm not as far as decluttering goes which is mainly how I intend for my colour categories. You know those really big categories like blush, lipstick and eyeshadow, they're not going to come down through usage. I have so many of them that if I was to try and pan a certain one, it would be to the detriment of everything else. So I know that I am not going to be reducing those categories in a meaningful way by using things up because in the time that it would take me to use one up, everything else would have expired pretty much. So I just want to be rotating and weeding out products that I just realise as I'm going along they've either gone off, they're not performing the same or I know that there's something I would always reach for over it. But I just kind of want that to be organic. So that is the main thing for the colour products is to continue doing what I did last year where I continue to reasonably regularly do my declutters. However, I do want some quite significant reduction overall and the categories that I would like to set specific goals in are the ones that I think could be under control. So that is mainly sort of base products and then mascaras and lip balms. So for each of those categories in 2024, I am setting a quantity goal that I want to reduce it by. So for primer, my 2024 opening quantity is 14. My goal for the end of the year is to close off at nine. So that means A, using five, but also not bringing any more in. And I think that's where a quantity goal can be quite good is it is about both reducing, it's about safe, it is about using five up, but also if I bring one in knowing that I need to use an extra one to get, to still hit that quantity goal. So I'm aiming to reduce it to nine so that it goes from being a double figure number to a single figure number. And that will be, the aim is to have an overall total of nine by ideally using five and not bringing any more in. For foundation, my opening number is 18. However, I have quite a few samples in there. So I'm aiming quite high here to reduce it to nine again. So that would be a reduction of 50%. That would be using up nine or some of them I think are about to go off. So some foundations might be being decluttered. But again, the, the main goal is basically to bring it from a double figure number to a single figure number. In my last two year long project pans, I have had a foundation and I have realized, even though I've worked on those foundations all year in those projects, I've, n I've actually never finished one. Now the one I had last year, I think it's so nearly done. I feel like if I was to actually just use it for like a month or so, it would be finished. But it, it does really open my eyes to the fact that I don't use makeup as much as I think that I do. As much as I really enjoy it, I'm not somebody who puts it on to go to work every day or anything like that. So I feel like the foundation one, it's quite a big goal for me to set to try and reduce that by nine. But I am hoping the fact that I've had really good usage on quite a few, but just not finish them will mean that I could at least kind of finish one a quarter theoretically. And as I say, there's a few that I think are ready to, to turn that just need to be decluttered. So fingers crossed, we will do it. Concealer, I have got five and I'm aiming to just take that down to three. So I just want to finish up. I've got, I think, three sort of um, like pot concealers. I was going to say solid concealers. That's maybe not quite the, 
the term that I want to use but like pot concealers that I would use with a finger or a brush and then I have got two liquidy concealers no sorry other way around two pot concealers three liquidy concealers the liquidy ones are obviously going to go off first so I would really like to try and reduce that down by two so that I've only got one liquid one and then the pot ones do take longer to use so if I have the two of them at the end of the year I'm ideally hoping that one of them will get finished next year so the long term goal is to get concealer down to just having one liquid and one pot concealer in stock at any time so I want to try and reduce by two liquid concealers this year. Powder I'm opening with 10 and I'm, I'm just aiming to use one just get it down to single figures close off with nine I will be happy with that so yeah that should be doable. Mascara I have 12 I'm aiming to finish off at eight so aiming to use up four and if I bring any in to also use the excess that I bring in. I think that's that's kind of one a quarter so that should be achievable. And for lip balms and primers I'm also opening at 12 and again aiming to close at eight so one per quarter is the goal. So in total if I reduce by five primers, nine foundations, two concealers, one powder, four mascaras and four lip balms and primers even if I finish nothing else in addition to those numbers I would be finishing 10, 19, 20, 25 products. So my opening quantity for makeup is 580 products. So that's a goal of 25 that I'm definitely aiming to reduce by, which would leave me with 555 products if nothing else changed, nothing else got used, nothing got decluttered. Now, as I said, I don't really want to set goals on decluttering. However, I am low-key hoping to take it to under 500 items by the end of the year. If I don't do it, I'm not gonna break my heart about it as long as I get the 25 products that I'm aiming to reduce by, but I would like to get the numbers down to being under 500. I'm hoping that'll be doable. It's such a big quantity to be starting with. I don't feel that that should be me being super, you know, ruthless or forcing myself to get rid of things that I don't actually want to get rid of to reduce by that amount. It's not going to be, make it or break it if it ends up at like you know 515 at the end of the year I'm not going to be super sad about that the main thing is the, the categories that I have set those quantities on I want to get them down but I would like to just get it down to like beginning with a four even if it was 499 items at the end of this year I feel like that would be a really significant reduction and I'd be really happy with that so that's kind of my like low-key unofficial goal for my makeup inventory but yeah this year I am concentrating on a quantity goal rather than a monetary value goal I feel like if I reduce by the quantities the value comes down as a knock on to that anyway and I did set a sort of value based goal last year and I feel like it it's um easier to lose sight of a value based goal in a sense um especially when it's such big numbers that we're talking about whereas I think in a sense quantity is easier to keep track of um, so I have broken all those goals down to an individual quarterly goal so that I know what I would need to use each quarter to keep on track. So I am going to be doing quarterly check-ins for my goals and seeing how things go as the year goes on. I hope you're looking forward to seeing them. Thank you so much for watching this video and for spending this time with me here today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!